Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmed Hifni and in this video I will give you a quick overview about Microsoft new certification related to Windows Server administration. As you may know, Microsoft was offering a certification called MCSA, Microsoft Certified Solution Associate and Microsoft Certified Solution Expert, the MCSA and MCSA, with well-sold certifications that many aspirants in the technology field was aiming to acquire it. Unfortunately, Microsoft retired these certifications at the beginning of 2021. After retiring the certifications, Microsoft was focusing on Azure Cloud Networking and Azure Cloud Computing, and it was publishing a certificate related to cloud, such as AZ900, which is covering the fundamental knowledge or fundamental skills needed to understand what cloud is, and AZ100, which was related to administrative task on Azure Cloud, and Azure 200, which was related to developing solutions on Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft left the space for studying the core knowledge of on-prem solutions to all the training courses that was covering Microsoft Windows Server 2016 and 2012. And Microsoft was not offering any uh, material or any or, or let's say uh, was not offering any uh, uh, appropriate uh, course or appropriate certification that cover on-prem solution but due to the nature of the current world not all people or not all company are considering the full immigration to uh, cloud we have uh, companies that are still working or relaying with a great percentage on the on-prem solution and may consider migrating one or two services or creating a separate infrastructure or separate environment for testing on the cloud or utilize one of the key uh, components of the cloud uh, for its production use for example some companies may may uh, acquire service like uh, site recovery manager azure backup or uh, microsoft office 365 uh, for its its production use so in this case we have like hybrid setup or hybrid environment. Uh, the way uh, of hybrid is that we have local services stored or hosted on-prem on my premise and cloud services that are available or, uh, uh, or uh, usable by my local users. So the trend of hybrid, uh, hybrid uh, environment is uh, in heat right now and many companies are considering migrating uh, or partially migrating to Azure, or let's say utilize some resources from Azure Cloud, but keeping its on-prem infrastructure as it is. So Microsoft in the Windows Summit at the middle of September released or announced the new Microsoft exams that will allow you to take a certification called Microsoft uh, High Windows Server Hybrid Administration Certification. So this certification is focusing on hybrid setup of Windows environment. It will let you know or let you understand what is the core concept about Windows Server, how to administrate it if you are using it in your prem network, in your on-prem network, and how to utilize it and use it if you are considering to run Windows Server over the cloud. So these certifications will get you and uh, get you the uh, essential knowledge or the enough knowledge to understand how to operate Windows Server, uh, whether you are working with Windows Server in your on-prem infrastructure or on the cloud-based infrastructure. The, the exam is still at the beta uh, level. Uh, the exam cost was, is one hundred and sixty-five US dollar, and the cost is dependent on where you are currently in. For example, in the Middle East, for uh, as for my country, the, the exam cost is eighty dollar. So, depending where are you or when where you will take this exam, the exam cost will differ. In order to become a certified in Windows Server Hybrid Administration, you need to pass two exams. The first exam is AZ-800 and the second exam is AZ-801. And the last, the first day to attend this exam will be by the end of, the, of this year. But it is, still, it is still the beta level or the beta of the exam. So the beta of the exam will start at the end of this year. And the official release for exam is expected to be during 2022. So uh, 
what is a new in AZ800 uh, certification or AZ800? As we said, it will get you as a, enough knowledge to understand how to operate and manage and troubleshoot Windows Server in hybrid setup. What do we mean in, by hybrid setup? That you have workloads hosted in your on-premise network or on-premise infrastructure, and you have other services hosted on the cloud. This trend is uh, so much used in many modern businesses for now, because for many companies, they may consider building their dev or, uh, or staging environment on the cloud instead of purchasing dedicated servers or dedicated hardware to build their uh, developing uh, or development infrastructure. So some companies may consider purchasing Azure workload in order to uh, create a separate test environment. For other companies, many people now doesn't considering installing local version of Exchange Server. Instead, they may rely on a service called Office 365, which is offering a, a high available Exchange Service uh, more for mailing uh, interaction between employee. And uh, this service has uh, a lot of benefits. Uh, for example, as a fault tolerance, the auto scaling, uh, or let's say it's not always auto scaling, but scaling the auto updates and auto patching and uh, many, many, uh, and many much more. But in order to utilize service like Office 365, you need user credentials in order to log in to uh, the uh, Office 365 cloud. For this reason, you may consider deployment what's called Azure Active Directory or Azure uh, Active Directory Federation Service or ADFS. In order to deploy ADFS, it's a whole new topic and it will, inc it will uh, include deploying a sort of integration between your on-prem Active Directory and the Azure Active Directory. So in this case, Azure is at 800 teach you how to perform such integration or how to make such integration work. For some services, uh, other services such as CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike is an anti-malware solution that is provided over cloud. Uh, for, uh, for CrowdStrike, it's sort of hybrid services or sort of cloud services that is offered to local users and so on. You have a lot of services that utilize the concept of hybrid and this is the new trend in our world right now. So AZ800 came to address this challenge and give you quick in, an overview and practical uh, guide for how to manage the, high, the hybrid workload. So AZ800 is focusing not only on on-prem Windows Server, but is also focusing in Azure Cloud and Azure Cloud Knowledge. There is no official uh, book for uh, this exam released now. However, the exam blueprint is publicly available on Microsoft website and we will have a look to the blueprint. So as for AZ800, what is the core knowledge or the topics that will be covered in this exam? As for AZ900, AZ900 is considered like the core exam or the core knowledge exam. So it is expected to cover the introduction to what is Active Directory, what is the schema rules, what, what is the name, what does the directory service called, what is uh, the OU, the group, and so on. And this part of the exam uh, take uh, the most percentage of the exam because it cover uh, roughly 30% to 35% of the exam. So the first part of AZ800 is how to deploy Active Directory, whether in on-prem setup or over cloud. The second part is how to manage Windows Server uh, in a hybrid environment, which means how to perform a management operation for Windows Server, whether you are running it in on-prem setup or over cloud. The third topic or third knowledge domain in AZ800 is how to manage virtual machine and containers. As you know, there is a new trend that uh, have been in, uh, in the market for years, I think for three or four years in my case. Uh, this term is container and Docker and Kubernetes and serverless computing and functions. All uh, these features is essential for today's business. So it's great that AZ800 gave you an introduction to the containerization concept and how to learn a container and how to manage and deploy container using Microsoft technologies. The fourth knowledge domain is to uh, how to implement hybrid networking, uh, whether in on-prem or in cloud, uh, topics such as DHCP, 
uh, such as DNS, such as NIC teaming or link aggregation, or the IPsec tunnels based on Microsoft or uh, the firewall of Microsoft. I think all of these sorts of topic will be covered in details in this domain area, which take 15% of for, from the total exam knowledge. Our last topic in AZ800 is the managing the storage and file services on Microsoft. And I believe in this case, we will discuss the uh, topics such as distributed file share system. And of course, we will uh, have a little bit knowledge about Microsoft uh, Azure storage type, such as blob storage, archive storage, and data lake, and so on. So uh, as you can see here, AZ-800 is cover uh, a lot of topics related to whether on-prem and uh, Azure fundamentals or uh, Azure cloud services. In order to uh, go to the official page for the exam and uh, get uh, get to know uh, the scale metrics in details, uh, each sub knowledge area and sub domains and so on. You need to scan this QR code, which will uh, forward you to this website. And in this website, you will have uh, details about the exam, the current availability for the exam, and the cost for exam. Uh, and you have to check with your uh, local country, or the country you will be planning to take the exam in, in order to know what is the cost for your country. In order to know the scale metrics or the skills measured in the AZ-800 exam in details, all what you have to do is to uh, open this link and this link will give you a PDF file. This PDF file will tell you exactly what is each scale measure, what is the percentage as per Microsoft and the sub skills, including in this uh, top domain. So as you can see here in deploying and managing Active Directory, you have subdomains of sub or sub knowledge areas, such as you need to understand how to deploy Active Directory controller, how to uh, configure and manage multi sites, how to uh, manage Active Directory security principle, and so on. You will have a detailed overview about what is the scales and what is the scales, what are, what are the scale, scales measures that are tested during the AZ-800 exam. Similar to that, the AZ-800-11 exam, as we, as we said before, the AZ-800 exam is a foundational knowledge or discussing the core concept of Azure. Uh, or uh, core concept of managing on-prem uh, Microsoft Windows Server and hybrid Windows Server. So uh, in, in AZ-801, we will discuss more specific or more advanced topics such as the securing of Windows Server, whether it was on-prem or on the cloud. We will also discuss how to implement and manage Windows Server uh, high availability. We will talk about fault tolerance, uh, knowledge domain, uh, uh, fault domains, and much more of uh, essential knowledge. And of course, we will, uh, or, or Microsoft will, focus on the high availability aspects that is provided over the cloud. And this is one of the key strong points on the cloud, the topic of high availability. And then we will, they will discuss the implementation of disaster recovery. And of course, it could uh, give you an introduction and how to integrate your on-prem setup or with services such as Microsoft uh, Azure Backup or uh, Azure Site Recovery Manager. And then you will have a topic related to migrating your local or on-prem Microsoft servers to the cloud or to Azure. So it's a good topic to uh, study in, in AZ-800 because after you know details about what is Windows Server, how to set up your on-prem environment, let's discuss how to migrate your uh, internal work workload to uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud. A last topic in AZ-801 will be monitoring and troubleshooting aspects such as monitoring the event log, the syslog, the SNMB, uh, the WMI, and uh, the Azure uh, alerts, and so on. Uh, I, I, I believe they will also may discuss a little bit about billing, but in order to get the full details about the skills measured in AZ-801, we will also open this QR code, and in this QR code, it, it, you will be directed to uh, this link, which gave you, as we said before, more details about the exam, and you will have uh, the skills measures outlines here. It is in, in, a, BD, in a PDF format, and will also have uh, what is the knowledge domain and what is the subtopics that expected to be tested against during the exam.
So uh, after then, let's discuss what is the available study materials for now in order to prepare yourself for the AZ-800 AZ exam and AZ-801. What you need to do is to navigate to the two URLs shown on the screen or scan, scan uh, these two QR codes. It will uh, redirect you to this page uh, for AZ-800. You will have uh, the topics. And under each uh, domain, you have the subtopics as per uh, the official scale metrics that we uh, viewed uh, earlier. And uh, under each uh, subdomain, you will have uh, the point and the supporting article or supporting study material. So for AZ-800, we have uh, five knowledge areas. Uh, for each uh, knowledge area, we have a lot of useful resources that is uh, uh, categorized or organized in the same way that appeared in the scale metrics or the scale measures of the official uh, course. So uh, you have a lot of resources, uh, plenty of resources that are publicly available and online. You can study it for free on Microsoft MS Learn or using docs.microsoft. For example, uh, if we need to know about containers or study the topic of the container, with, which is, I bet, uh, a new, a wholly new topic for people who already have the MCSA or, or MCSA or the certifications, they may need just to study this new topic because the core knowledge of Microsoft is, uh, I, I won't say it is static, but the same knowledge or the same uh, rules appear. The, the schema master roles, the, the meaning of OU, the meaning of group policy. Uh, if you are working in 2008, I bet you will be able to work on 2021 without, with no problem. I hope so. But for new topics such as the containerization, you may decide to study what is the container is. So you need to navigate this to this URL and it will, it will give you like a document from Microsoft discussing what is the containers technology, how to deploy it, how to implement it, what is, what is the different uh, modes of containerization, what is the version compatibility, what is Docker. So it is very useful resource to study with. But you may decide to wait until the official book for the exam released. The, mean, uh, the, the benefit of the official book or uh, the official study guide of the exam will be it will aggregate the whole knowledge. and It will remove the unneeded data from the, uh, the prospect of the exam. So you can decide if you want to study using the available material or wait till they release the official book for the exam. Uh, however, you can uh, invest your time till they uh, release the official book by studying or knowing more about Microsoft Azure. I discussed in an earlier, earlier video in my YouTube channel uh, an opportunity that offered by Microsoft, uh, which is Azure Fundamental Day. In Azure Fundamental Day, you attend a two days event. Uh, after this event, you acquire uh, a voucher, a free exam attempt for AZ-900 exam, which will give you a foundational knowledge about what Azure Cloud is. It will discuss with you what is a cloud in general, what, what, is, what does cloud mean, what is a form of cloud, what is Microsoft solution for cloud, and what is uh, Microsoft storage services such as Plop and Archive and Data Lake. It will discuss also what is Azure Cloud Networking. We'll discuss also what is Azure Computing in instances such, uh, such as the uh, virtual machine and container and serverless computing and functions. So a lot of knowledge that you can uh, acquire for free. And what, what, what is most important is you will have the opportunity to take a, an exam and credibly badge for free. So if you are not uh, thinking right now to study the AZ-800 and AZ-801, I strongly recommend you to try the Azure Fundamental Day, uh, follow the study material of Azure Fundament Fundamental Day, and acquire a free voucher to attend the AZ-900 exam. It will uh, give you a holistic overview about what is cloud and uh, will make the step toward AZ-800 and AZ-801 uh, uh, preparation more easier and more valuable. I hope this video is, was informative and I would thank you for viewing and please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video if you like it and uh, tell me in comment what uh, else do you want to understand or if you have anything that need more uh, elaboration. Thank you very much and bye-bye.